Can the Phillies finally solve September? In each of the last three years, Philly has entered the final month in control of their postseason destiny. And in each of the last three years, a final month stumble has left them home in October. With plus level talent at the top of the rotation and the heart of the lineup, this is a veteran club that expects to be a contender in 2021. In what figures to be an ultra competitive NL East, can the Phillies reverse their recent trend and push for the division's top spot? Philadelphia Phillies open their 2021 season by hosting the Atlanta Braves here at Citizens Bank Park and there is quite a bit of hunger in the city of brotherly love for improvement from a team that's been on the wrong side of 500 for what fans would say is far too long for an inside view of this Philly team here's Heidi Watney. Matt a fired up fan base has come out tonight to try and help lift their home club to a big opening day win and an air of anticipation is mounting as we approach the first pitch. Philly skipper Joe Girardi expects big things from his loaded lineup. Shortstop Didi Gregorius and catcher JT Romuto stuck around in free agency and a full season of slugging third baseman Alec Bohm should provide help for Bryce Harper and Reese Hoskins. On the mound Aaron Nola and Zach Wheeler make for a strong one two punch. The team acquired Jose Alvarado and Archie Bradley to stabilize the bullpen badly needed after the Phils gave up a league worst 7.06 ERA in relief. Better work out of the pen might be the key to helping this Philly squad reach its potential. Thanks Heidi and on that note let's get things underway. Welcome to those of you just joining us. We're in the sixth inning. Nobody out. So now here is Max Breed. Max First offering. The wind up and the 0 1. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. His past line against Aaron Nola. He has seven hits in 24 at bats. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. One zero -oh. is laid off for ball two. Non-competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0 -oh, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. Two balls and a strike. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. A quick glove at third and there are two gone. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. In there, 0 and 1. You got to love guys auto taking you 0 0 if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two. Line toward right center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. He's working on a one for two games so far. One and one the count. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners. 
Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. Kingery's there. To second now, but he's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Braves pick up a run on the RB. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. No balls and a strike to count. 0 oh, 1 the count to Bryce Harper. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Albies brings it in, and there's one down now. now Next to hit is JT Realmuto, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Skied down the left field line. And he misses there, one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another 2 2 offering. Hits are now even at four apiece. Fouled away. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. His career numbers in this matchup, he's got three base hits in 17 at-bats. Here he comes on 2-0. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Gone. And you know what they say, just late be great. Reese Hoskins with a solo shot. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Phillies have cut the lead in half. It's now a 2-1 to one game. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got now a really bad result. Ball. Here's Didi Gregorius. Gregorius. He'll lay off a curveball in the dirt for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Fouled off. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Into the windup and the pitch. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. One run, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. 
Set to deal on two and two. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. So up steps Ozzy Albies. He'll start the seventh in what's been a fast moving pitcher's duel to date. First pitch of the AB on its way. Little chopper back to the mound. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's totaled four hits in 26 at bats, seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Now that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on, he's got everything working. He's got it. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Now into the box, Austin Riley. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing and one. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel, two to one our score. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves, as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB on its way. Get hard to short. Swanson scoops it up, throws in time, and that's out number one. Next to stand in is Scott Kingery. In his career against this pitcher, he brings a 353 batting line. Two of those hits were for home runs. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted down the line and left. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Darno gathers it, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Andrew Knapp will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Now the first pitch. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Ozuna is under it. No problem with this one and the inning is over. Archie Bradley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Christian Pache. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Ender Inciarte comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And he fouls this one off. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. 
Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ronald Acuna. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Skied into very shallow right. Harper has a read on it, and that ends the inning. Braves are set down one. Chris Martin is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. It was a walk in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1 0. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. This is hit sharply to the left side. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. Up next to Philadelphia. Ready now is Alec Bohm. His prior history in this matchup. Small sample. A perfect one for one. Now here's the pitch. Oh one here's the pitch fly ball out toward left center field long run for the center fielder he gets there and that's the second out the right fielder, next three. to dig in will be Bryce oh. Harper he was retired via the ground ball last time up and now the first pitch below the zone a swing and a miss you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a Bruce Shin or. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Philly. All set to start the ninth in this one. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Hector Neris enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. Talk about certain guys in the lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. The 2 1 home. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Oh, and one the count. Freeman gets his lead at first, nobody out. Hot shot toward third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Travis Darno is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 0. Well, they miss with the first one, but then they decide, let's go ahead and put him aboard here. And they'll do just that as you see the signal from the dugout. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. One run is scored. Throw won't get him. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Now battle. Next, it'll be Austin Riley. We'll see if he can deliver here. Runners still at second and third with one away now. 
And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Christian Pache comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. and That evens it up 1-1. One and one. Still only one out in the inning. A ball and two strikes. And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. Jason Kipnis will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. And it's fouled away. A little dribbler up the third baseline. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. You know, there aren't many guys that can just spit on an 0-2 pitch like that. Maybe it fooled him. We won't ever know, but it worked out. Here's the one two and he struck him out so a good pitch there and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. So they wind up with two in the inning but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded on to the bottom of inning number nine four five and six coming up the Braves on top four to one Will Smith takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door. Here we go. Bottom of the inning now, and next to hit is the catcher, JT Real Muto. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Now the 1 0. Popped up. Freeman is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And, oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat, too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Behind 0-2 now. Philly down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, we emphasized earlier in the telecast what a lift it can be to win on opening day, but what do you really think this means, Dero? Well, for the winner, it's a huge confidence boost, Dan, no doubt. But for the loser, hey, it's just one game. You shake it off, remind yourself you're at the beginning of a long season, and you come out ready to play next time. 